the Chase Thomas Podcast. For people who have nothing but time to kill. That being CJ Stroud and the Houston Texans. And some great red uniforms, which I love. I don't know why those are not their primary uniforms. The red looks really good. And when you think Houston, you think red. Like the Houston Rockets, the Houston Dynamo. Like I think they should lean way more into that red. The Houston Cougars. It's just, I like cities, speaking of color combinations, like Jarrett, your Pittsburgh Steelers in Pittsburgh, black and gold. Like, I like when cities just stumble on a color scheme across the board. It's uh, it's cool. Houston, don't ever think it. Get rid of the blue. Just go red and white, red and yellow, whatever. But uh, you have something good there because the red looks really clean with those helmets. I, but that is neither here nor there. JB Acosta, what did you see from Trevor Lawrence winning the duel against CJ Stroud on Sunday afternoon? I mean, those were two really good quarterbacks going head to head. I mean... I think a lot of CJ Stroud's, like, just overall him being amazing, which he was, again, phenomenal. I think the plays they made out of structure really stood out to me. We kind of forgot that Trevor Lawrence is really, really, really good at this. Like, he's a mm-hmm. really good football player. Um, someone on this show said that CJ Stroud was everything Trevor Lawrence was supposed to be, and I pushed back on it. I am still taking that victory lap because Trevor Lawrence is still very good at football. I think Mm. one of the issues with Jaguars this year has been not being able to find answers when their offensive line can't block. And they kind of found those answers in this game, which is just let them throw downfield. You get get the ball out of his hands. They went max protect a lot. They went seven man protections, two got two man routes, throw downfield. He made some sick throws in the mid-range area. The throw to Calvin Ridley where it just zipped right past Derek Stingley. Phenomenal throw. There was another Ridley uh, out route that, uh, man, he just zipped it. And I think the thing about this Jaguars game against the Texans was in a battle between two teams with some really high-level talent, the Jaguar stars played better at the most important times. Josh Allen was the best Josh Allen in football on Sunday and he completely shut down that game at the end near the end of that drive the, near the end of the drive um Trevor Lawrence was really really good and now you have the division on lock and now not only are you thinking about hey we can win the division you you're thinking hey we can win the AFC like we can get the number one seed in the AFC because the next biggest game you have is a home game against Baltimore You win this game against Cincinnati on Monday Night Football, and then you go in and beat Baltimore, you have a really good shot of locking up that one seed because the Chiefs still have a really, really daunting schedule ahead of them. And the Ravens, you'll have have the head-to-head tiebreaker over the Ravens. So now you're not just thinking, oh, let's just win the division. Now you're thinking, let's get home field advantage and get that first round by to try and get everybody healthy, which in year two of the Doug Peterson kind of regime – would be a phenomenal, like, this would be way ahead of schedule for this team. What did you see in terms of just watching CJ Stroud up close in this one? What's the closest similarity or what makes you, if you're a Texans fan, why would you feel best about CJ Stroud and Trevor Lawrence being uh, potentially on the same tier one day? Because I think the thing that stood out to most of me about CJ Stroud this game was how he handled pressure. You know, a lot of the stuff that came out uh, during the draft process was he's kind of robotic under pressure. That was kind of some of the questions I had about him. But he was beating pressure that Mike Caldwell and the Jaguar threw at him. He beat it with athleticism. He beat it with his mind. He beat it with his arm. He beat it with his legs. He was consistently finding answers. And that's something a lot of young quarterbacks struggle with, finding answers versus pressure. Not only that, but finding their answers versus pressure. You know, Josh Allen – Josh Allen's answers versus pressure aren't going to look the same as Joe Burrow's. Those are two completely different players, two completely different caliber of athletes. But they're both – they're two of the best quarterbacks in the game in the ways that they address and adjust to pressure. C.J. Stroud is finding his answers, whether it be by escaping the pocket and using his legs, which he killed the Jaguars with on Sunday, or just beating it with his mind, you know, getting the ball out real quickly, finding the blitz and diagnosing it, find that hole in the zone. It is very repeatable. It's not. It's something that gives you a really high floor. As a- Go. Nicely done, nephew. The Chase Thomas podcast. Hell yeah. Oh, oh, oh.